Greetings, YouTube friends. It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead, and it's been a while, I know. It's been a while <laughs> since I've said that. It just seems like we've had so many irons in the fire. Um, I have just been, well, I should say we have just been going crazy. Um, for those of you, I'm gonna catch you up real quick that are new, because I know there's a lot of new subscribers. Um, we sold our little Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead um, to um, some buyers from California in a day and a half um, a couple months ago. <clears throat> so we have been closing and we found 20 acres of property which were absolutely was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, two ponds and a creek. Um, everything that we had dreamed of for so long. And um, so we were getting ready to close. Uh, Tuesday was supposed to be closing and um, adjust this a little bit there Tuesday we were supposed to close and um, on the, the land and the house was supposed to close on Thursday so our realtor thought why don't we just try to close both of them on Thursday and just save us a trip from having to go to two different places so um, <clears throat> We, um, the realtor got in contact with the guy from the land and he said um, he did not want to give us any more time. He wanted to close on that Tuesday. Well, he failed to realize that the appraisal had not come through yet and um, the land was appraising at less than the 20 acres. It ended up appraising at 17 and a half acres, which we felt he had been dishonest this entire time, but we were still okay with that. Um, and the appraisal said that it was gonna be $9,000 less for the land, um, but we were willing to give him the entire amount um, just to still be able to get the land. Well, um, we still have that 50-50 chance of him maybe changing his mind and letting us close that Thursday, which was today. Um, and just going through with everything and paying the full amount and just not worrying about the fact that it was two and a half acres less than what he had told us. We were fine with that. Um, well, um, we got a message from our realtor last night saying that he wanted to completely back out, never gave a reason why. Um, so we were absolutely devastated. Um, here we are having sold our home. The buyers will be here um, Wednesday to take possession and we have animals, we have furnishings. Um, we were gonna buy a container to put all of our stuff in. That is not gonna take place now. We have to scramble, we had to scramble to try to find some storage units to put our stuff in. And um, those are not easy to come by, especially big ones, because um, we have, you know, Jedediah wanted to keep his bunk bed and we have Avonlea's furniture and some dressers and then tons and tons of tubs with our stuff. Um, we got rid of so much, but we still have some things. We couldn't get rid of everything. Um, that just wasn't gonna work. So we found a couple storage units. They are very expensive and not in such a great area, but we had to take what we could because you just can't, we can't be picky at this point. And then we stood the um, dilemma of what do we do with our animals? We have nowhere to take them. Um, we don't know of a whole lot of people that would say, bring your pigs over or bring your chickens over, but our sweet friends, offered to take our pigs, our sheep, I mean not our sheep, our pigs and our chickens and our ducks and watch them while we search for new land. And our son has land that he rents from um, a family that's gonna let him keep the sheep there and his equipment, like our mowers, the splitter, all of that stuff. You don't think about all that stuff and all of a sudden, when you have nowhere to go, it's like, what do we do now? So needless to say, we are absolutely devastated. Um, 
trying to sleep at night is almost impossible. I lay there just thinking, well, what about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? I know that where the Lord closes a door, he always opens a window, and I am absolutely confident that he has something better for us, that this was his plan all along, that maybe he was saving us from something that we did not know ourselves. But you know, the human side of us and having children and our animals, mama worries. And I'm trying not to. I've given it over to him and know that he is completely and totally in control. He's got this figured out. But boy, talk about a wrench being thrown at us, thrown in this whole plan. When we just, you know, mentioned last Monday on our live that um, we would probably be on the homestead this coming Monday. But um, with, um, I'm sweating here, it is so humid. We just had a rainstorm and it is so hot. Um, but now with, um, us getting a few more days it's at least given us some time to figure out what we are going to do with everything and where we're gonna go we will probably still get a trailer um, because that was the original plan we now don't have land to put that trailer on so we will probably have to find a campground but when you're in a campground usually I don't know how pets work we have our cat Billy and we have Duchess, our bulldog. Um, so we have to think about that. Um, so this Saturday, we will be renting a moving truck. And we have friends coming to help. And we will be loading up two huge storage sheds with our stuff. Sorry, I'm dripping. Um, And trying to figure things out our freezers we have some freezers at one friends we have freezers at our daughter's house because you don't think about these things but all of this all of a sudden is like okay what do we do with this what do we do with this um, it's yeah a scary thing so we would surely appreciate your prayers um, if you would not mind sending some prayers our way I know that this is all going to work out, but it is so scary right now. I lay in bed thinking, huh, where am I going to be laying my head here before long? And how are animals going to be? I just can't imagine waking up and not seeing my chickens and my ducks. I, I think that listening to that, it's going to be very different um, and you know it wouldn't even be so bad if real estate wasn't so crazy right now there's nothing available our realtor said well we will definitely I'm gonna move this over here because of the glare of the Sun um, we're definitely looking for you but there's nothing available when something comes up it's gone so quickly it doesn't even really hit the market and it's already gone so what they've shown us so far, at least told us, is nothing that would even work for us. But, you know, I know the Lord has a plan, but we would covet your prayers um, through all of this because this mama is a little nervous, <laughs> needless to say. Um, but we will keep you posted as this progresses Saturday is the big move where they will be moving most of the stuff into the storage unit um, and then we will have until Wednesday to figure out where we will be parking our trailer um, and yeah figuring out the next step but, I just wanted to, you know, we want to take you along for all of this, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and this right now is pretty bad, um, but it's going to get better. I have to remember that. Um, so, anyway, guys, I'm going to end for now, and um, we will let you know 
you know where we are and uh, keep up with you and hopefully um, before long maybe have some good news but we covet your prayers we hope that you are all well blessings from our home <laughs> our homestead to yours until next time guys god bless you